we'll start with Boston. Here's my, I pulled up my whiteboard here. So here are my teams in the Atlantic Division. Top six, Boston, Brooklyn, Philly, not in order. Please don't hate me, Philly. I think actually Philly could be number one. I think New York and Toronto are playing teams. So that's five out of those 10 teams that I see being in the playoffs when this season is over here. Let's start with the Celtics. Focus one, dealing with adversity, right? Ime Doka suspended for the season. How does this roster come together around a interim coach, a 34-year-old Joe Mazzula, head coaching experience? Fairmount State Division II a few years ago, certainly worked with the main Red Claw, was behind the bench when with Ime last year, coached Summer League a few years ago here. So how does a 34-year-old handle being thrust in this for a team that is a championship contender, right? Dealing with adversity, the Udoka suspension, 34-year-old Joe Mazzula as the interim, the Robert Williams injury here, right? I have a little bit of a, a note about Williams and, and what I'm, we'll talk about more. Eight to 10 weeks out with the knee, this is a thin front court, right? When you look at Tatum will probably go to the four, you've got Horford at the five, you basically got Grant Williams, Luke Cornett, Noah Vonley, Fiondo Capangeli. They signed Jake Lehman, but this is an awfully thin front court until um, Williams comes back, and that's going to be probably three months from now. I don't think they'll rush him back. And then you've got the Gallinari injury where he's likely out for the whole year. So on the court, my concern about this team is their front court and how thin it is because what happens is, is that now you likely have Brogdon go into the starting lineup. So you've got um, Smart, Brogdon, Brown, Tatum, Horford, right? So that pushes someone up. Now your bench is left with you know Pritchard, White, Hauser, and I mentioned the bench of a bunch of ro rotational players as far as the Celtics. So that's my concern as far as Boston. Grant Williams is rookie extension eligible. Jalen Brown is extension eligible up until October 17th. Both players are. I'm not anticipating an extension for Jalen Brown based on finances. He would basically leave, be leaving about $100 million on the table. Um, I see Brown playing out his contract, becoming an unrestricted free agent in 2024. Um, and I don't see it. I don't think it's because his names are were in the Durant trade rumors. I just think how the rules are right now where he can only get a 20% increase that it's not worth Jalen Brown extending. That rule could change in the next CBA where it could be 30% of the salary cap. And then we're talking about a Brown extension next year. So that's my take on the Celtics here. 11 con guaranteed contracts when you include um, Horford, uh, Cornette's on a partial. Um, everybody else is basically fight, fighting for these roster spots, and you can look at their section on the uh, the training camp primer on ESPN.com. So that's the Celtics here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.